Why play Zerath support? Well, he's one of the best poke champions in the game, he has insanely long range, he brings great burst damage, and he's great at getting picks. However, he is 100% skillshot reliant, which means he can struggle against high mobility, and he is both immobile and squishy, especially if locked down. Zerath's passive is every 12 seconds, his next basic attack restores a good chunk of mana. If this attack is used against an enemy champion, the amount of mana recovered is doubled. This is a great way to keep spamming out spells all lane. Zerath's Q is a straight line skill shot, which causes him to begin charging. While charging, he's slowed and the skill shot becomes longer. Upon release, it deals damage to all enemies hit. Zerath's W is a skill shot which places a circle on the floor, and after a short delay, all enemies within are damaged and slowed. In addition, the center of the circle does greatly increased damage and also applies a greatly increased slow. Zerath's E is a straight line skill shot which damages and stuns the first enemy hit. The duration of the stun changes depending on the distance the ability has traveled, with it being 0.75 of a seconds at point blank range and a massive 2.25 seconds at max range. Zerath's ultimate causes him to root himself in place and the screen zooms out. While in this stance, he's able to press R again to fire a small circular skill shot which does damage after a short delay and reveals the area. At level 6 he can fire 3 of these projectiles and he can fire 1 additional shot for each time the ultimate is leveled. Zerath's main combo in lane is to land a simple W to slow into his Q, and of course if you're able to start with E or follow up with E you'll be able to get massive amount more damage out. His all in high burst combo is to use E into W and Q before using your ultimate and spamming out all the shots onto your target as fast as possible. For matchups, Zerath does very well into most champions. Against short range champions and enchanters he's able to outrange and bully, and into engaged champions he can simply sit out of their range. However he's not as effective against champions with heals and shields to make sure his damage doesn't stick. For runes, first strike is great for additional damage in gold, however if it can get knocked off, Comet is a great choice. For build orders, start spell thief and pots into Ludens, tier 2 boots and a shadow flame. After this, a hat and void staff are great pickups for maximum damage and you can buy any of these as you situationally need. For skill order, start W then Q then E before maxing Q then W then E, taking ult whenever you can. For summoner spells, flash and exhaust is great at punishing anything that gets under your range, however heal and barrier are great choices too. Starting the game, from level 1 you're looking to poke and to harass hard, being as annoying and frustrating as possible and you're probably going to be successful. Every time the opposing carry goes to farm, in that moment when they attack, they have to stand still. This sets you up to land a very easy W, which then gives you a very easy follow-up Q for a massive amount of damage which will poke through minions. You want to be looking for this combo at every single opportunity. As between your passive and when you get lost chapter, you're really not going to be running out of mana. And a great tip with your passive is even though you'll get double from attacking a champion, if it's available just use it on a minion to get it back up as fast as possible. During this time, keep playing safe and throw out as much damage as possible until you're able to land an E and go in for the kill. In addition, where your roams aren't amazing, if you're able to far enough that you're in range of your ultimate, you can make a massive difference in any fight around the map. Entering the mid game, you're looking to take your tower and roam mid with your carry. This will allow the two of you to siege from map control and easily roam for objectives and skirmishes. Entering late game teamfights, you want to play the backline mage. Your main goal is going to be to throw out as much damage as you can before the fight starts. If you're able to connect a Q or a W onto a carry, it will half health them at this point. When the fight starts, keep prioritizing your safety, kiting back and throwing out spells. Use your E to guarantee a kill or to protect yourself, and your ultimate can be used to either burst out a target, or for more damage if you're able to do it from a safe location. 